everyone's like connect with your body follow your heart listen to your intuition but i'm not seeing a whole lot of people break down ways to go about actually doing that have you my name is pierre i'm a licensed therapist and the founder of queering psychology the psychotherapy resource blog and mental health counseling for our communities the private practice where i am raising money to continue to provide free therapy for black people this is the first part of a very, very long series where I'm going to break down slash teach somatic theory and how to apply it so that you can build your relationship with your intuition, with your body, with your heart. And so the next few parts is going to be me breaking down the autonomic nervous system using polyvagal theory created by Stephen Porges and my own clinical experience as an EMDR trained somatic therapist. Check out my last video where I explain why I decided to start this series in the first place and my long-term plans. Please feel free to ask questions in the comments and I'll incorporate the answers in future videos and blog posts. Please sit with the information in every video until you understand it before trying to learn anything new in future videos. This kind of learning is not something that you can rush, and this kind of information isn't just content to consume. The point of this entire series is to empower you to learn your own nervous system and to build a relationship with it. All right, so what is the autonomic nervous system? The autonomic nervous system, which I'll sometimes call the ANS, is made up of two major parts. The sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. Today, in this video, we're going to be talking about the sympathetic nervous system. Your autonomic nervous system is your first line of defense for determining whether a situation is safe or not. Even before you notice anything is up, your ANS has already scoped out the situation, picked up on cues and signs from the people around you and from the environment, and made its interpretation. Safe or not safe. And this happens in seconds without you being aware of it. The interpretations of our autonomic nervous system and how we respond to them have huge influences on how we respond to situations, our emotions, and even our physical health. Now that I gave you that quick overview on the autonomic nervous system, now let's talk about the sympathetic nervous system, which y'all probably know as your fight flight. So your fight flight lives in the middle of your back, in your spinal cord, and it stretches out to connect to your heart, your eyes, and your lungs. So boom, there you are out in the world, minding your business, living life. When your autonomic nervous system starts receiving signs and cues that things aren't right, the moment your ANS starts to feel some type of way, it lets you know in a very physical way. Now, how it looks in real life depends on each person. Some general potential signs of a sympathetic fight-fight response can look like fidgeting or sweating. Your heart could start to race. You might describe this emotionally as being angry, anxious, frustrated, alert. There's a spectrum to how fight and flight can make people feel. Remember, the purpose of your sympathetic nervous system, the purpose of your fight flight is to get you active and moving away from the danger towards safety, whatever that looks like. Either take on the danger or get the hell out of there. The next video is going to cover the first part of the parasympathetic nervous system because what goes up must come down.